How's it going, everyone? I'm Miss Emma Walsh. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with Dragonfly, and behind me, the new Dragonfly hype scooter now this is next level tech and we've been riding these today so we have the inside track on what they are like to ride and what sets it apart from the rest now the dragonfly comes in two different specs you have the df which is set up for the urban environments and then the dfx which is multi-terrain for the great outdoors and the city streets too now this might be the first hyper scooter on the market and honestly it is like nothing i have ever ridden before okay think skateboard, surfboard, and kite surfing all folded into one, and then you're in the right area. So taking a look at the D-Fly for the first time, you already get hit by how unique it looks. Four wheels for a start, I've never seen that before, and the motorsport style suspension coil springs on each corner. The other thing that hits you straight away when you look at it is the riding deck. It is wide, and uh, it has a kickboard at the back, which allows you to put your foot in numerous positions while you're riding according to your riding style. Dragonfly claim on weight is 16.8 kilograms, which is roughly the weight of a downhill mountain bike. Now, for somebody of my size, it's relatively easy for me to pick it up, put it in the boot of my car, or take it up some stairs to my apartment when it's in the fully folded position. Now, how does this measure up to the competitor? Well, they're usually in the 20 kilograms plus range, so this is actually really competitive. Dragonfly say they limit their top speed to 40 kilometers an hour, and given the average city speeds are about 12.4 kilometers an hour, I would say that that is plenty. It also goes with the brand's focus on safety and stability on what can be damp city streets or country tracks. The battery duration is up to 80 kilometers per charge. And given that you probably ride between two to five kilometers a day, I would say that that is more than enough. Uh, and what I really like about this as well is you can clip the battery in and out of the machine. So while you're riding it, you can charge the other one as well. So really smart thinking and engineering. Now, charge time. We have asked that question and the answer is roughly three hours for a full battery. Now, how the brand build their batteries is also really, really important. And they've chosen premium Korean battery cells over cheaper competitors. And they say that will bring about a longer battery life and way better performance. So let's get into the product itself. From the off, you're able to lock and unlock the display with your own personal code. Both D-Flies will come with a state-of-the-art 5-inch digital display and there will be a factory option to add a forward-facing camera with 32 gigabytes of memory to record that epic journey. The display will also show you speed, range and three different riding modes according to your riding style. Now here is the cool thing, D-Fly has an app and you can totally personalize your D-Fly according to how you like to ride, whether it's acceleration, brakes, it also gives you navigation and all your alerts. So these are brakes like you would find on a mountain bike, left and right, front and back, meaning four wheel braking on all four wheels. There are also lights on the front and the back, and the D-Fly will come with rear indicators. Front indicators will be an option built in the end bars, and it also has a reverse mode. The bars are tall and wide and feel like they give you plenty of control. You actually move them from left to right while riding the D-Fly. More on that a little bit later. Acceleration is done via thumb press set on the right bar, but I would have thought that it is easy to relocate to the left-hand bar if you are left-handed. Standing on the deck, you'll notice it moves from left to right as you shift your weight. There's an independent suspension like you would find in a hypercar, and the wheels turn as you lean in, giving you four-wheel steering. Now, let's talk about the wheels. There are four, as we've already discovered, and here is the neat bit. The brand says they've done a deal with Pirelli, and you'll be able to spec your D-Fly with off-road and on-road slicks with a variety of compounds, rather like the types you find on a major global motorsport series. So let's talk about some of the accessories the brand is offering. They have helmets, luggage, carbon packages, mud guards, and the brand is even talking about making some special edition fenders for the DFX. Oh, and the brand is also making a high-spec travel pod, so you can pack your D-Fly away with you and take it wherever you want to go on your travels. Now, here's a question. How does this handle in the wet? 
Now, that is why the designer has made it. It's got four wheels, which is much more stable than a two-wheel scooter, and the battery is completely sealed. So that makes it 100% waterproof. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna take this for a ride. Let's go. Now that is what I call fun. You really, really have to engage with the D-Fly. You can ride it simply, or you can ride it edge to edge like you would a skateboard. But the more you lean, the more fun you're gonna have. Um, you can ride it with confidence and security as well. Honestly, it just feels like you're flying. The acceleration is what you would expect from an electric machine. That instant torque and that pulling power is, uh, is magnificent. And also the braking feels really, really secure. And within a few rides, I've learned how to tail slide with a lot of confidence. The tires seem to hold the road really, really well. And with the four wheels, you feel really, really secure and planted on the road as you're riding through the streets. Overall, it's a full body engagement, which is thrilling. It is not a passive experience, and I really, really like that. You're curving, you're learning, and you're kind of looking along the way to find what corners you can lean into. Build quality, as I said before, you can clearly see the amount of engineering that has gone into this. And that's no surprise as the founder and inventor has a background in engineering. Materials feel really premium with a carbon deck that has a lovely spring to it. I've had such a fun day out with this brand. Is four wheels the future? I think it might be. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for all future videos to come. I will see you all very soon. Bye. Oh, and one last thing. Head over to the Indiegogo crowdfunding page. It is live now. Grab yourself a bargain before prices go up.